Audio Jungle. Hey guys, how's it going today? It's Money Manny with HTX TV coming at you. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go over some quick, you know, some um, quick end market stuff for Friday. Today it's September 18th, 2020. Uh, market actually just closed, probably about 10 minutes ago. So, I'm gonna go over, the, you know, the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, um, S&P 500. Some uh, some gainers, some losers, and uh, and then some. All right, here we go. The Dow Jones is at a negative eighty-eight percent, and it's priced at twenty-seven thousand dollars, six hundred fifty-seven dollars and forty-two cents, and that's at a negative of two hundred forty dollars or so. The uh, Nasdaq is at a negative one point zero seven percent, and that's priced at ten thousand seven hundred and ninety-three dollars and twenty-eight cents. A negative $117 right now so they're in a little dip and uh, also the the S&P is at 1.12% uh, decrease as well um, it's priced at $3,319 and 47 cents and that's at a negative $37 and 54 cents or so so not too bad but they're still kind of a little in the red so we might have to check those out the next few days and see where it goes from there all right, and on to some popular stocks. My recent popular stocks. One, two, three, four. We got about five popular stocks. I'm going to go over uh, Apple Inc. It's at $106.85, and that's a negative three percent. So not too bad. It's just kind of a little under the red. And uh, my next uh, st popular stock is Citigroup Incorporated. It's at forty-four dollars and seventy-six cents. That's about a negative one point six nine percent or so. Um, I guess they got a banking stuff, so who knows what's going on with that? But um, all right, to my next popular stock, General Electric Company. It's at six dollars and eighty-eight cents, negative two percent. So um, they're kind of still a little bit in the red, and out the which leads me to my next popular stock which is Alphabet Incorporated it's priced at uh, $1,450 and 75 cents and that's a ne negative 2.4 percent so I guess what I'm realizing with all these popular stocks is they're not totally you know horribly in the red but it's they're just slightly but they're not going up I guess today they're definitely not above the in the green yet um, and uh, my last popular stock is Microsoft and um, Corporation right now it's at Priced at two hundred dollars a share, and it's at negative one point four four five percent. So that is that is all with my popular stocks. Now to go to some gainers and some losers. Um, all right, and again, guys, before I go into the gainers and losers, um, small disclaimer: whatever you do with this stock information I'm simply just reading it off of a website um, and whatever you do with it you're on your own just all right my first gainer for the day is Aptiv PLC and that's at a 6.8 increase and it's spelled A-P-T-I-V PLC Aptiv PLC 
Um, which leads me to my next gainer for the day is Marathon Oil Corporation. It's at a plus 2.99%, almost th basically 3% right now. And um, that's my next um, gainer for the day. Um, the next one is Sterilis PLC. It's at a plus 2.57%. So that's going pretty good. Um, next gainer is Fleet Core Technologies. It's at 2.51% increase. Um, so they're doing pretty good. Um, definitely, if you're trading, you might want to put that on your radar as well. Pretty much all these gainers right now, they're um, especially that Aptiv PLC. That's over five percent. That's six point eight. So, all right. And um, my last gainer for the day is Dollar General Corporation, two point two six percent. So, I guess a lot of people are just trying to be cheap and frugal during the situations and quarantines what's going on so that definitely makes a lot of sense there so definitely uh give them some money on that one <laughs> all right so all right and um let's go to the losers for the day um h and r block is is uh down negative 7.27 percent so kind of just took a dip today um Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings is at negative 5.85%. And uh, one second, guys. I'm going to grab a little, little coffee. Alrighty, there we go. And uh, my next uh, loser for the day is Carnival Corporation, negative 5.73%. And um, next loser for the day is... Health Peak Properties Incorporated, they're at a negative 5.34%. Um, health, health Peak Properties, sounds like a real estate company. So, all right, and my last loser for the day is Cody Incorporated, um, K-O-T-Y, Inc., and that's a negative 5.28%. So uh, those are the losers for the day. You might want to put those in your radars, you know, Right now might be a good buying time for those, so you guys can check those out later. Um, a few commodities, and then I'm gonna and do a few uh, currencies, and that'll be it for me to, for today. And uh, oil is priced at forty dollars and ninety eight cents. That's negative thirty two thirty two percent right now. Gas is at two dollars and six cents. It's a plus forty four percent. Not too bad, um, I guess, depending where you're where you're at gas prices. <laughs> So um, gold is at $1,957.10. That's a negative 25%. Silver is at $26.95. Um, that's actually a negative uh, 66%. Corn's um, at $378.25. That's a negative 7%. The euro compared to the dollar is at $1.18. And then the British pound is also um, compared to the US dollar is at $1.30. So, and the Canadian... Dollar is still at seven seventy six cents compared to the U.S. dollar. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. You know, appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button to help the YouTube algorithm. And uh, you guys have an awesome day, awesome weekend, and uh, we'll chat with you later. All right.